Welcome back to JRE Unleashed. Today we have Joe Rogan and Anthony Kiedis talk about how orcas and dolphins are super intelligent and how orcas have this really cool ability to adapt. They discuss how unique orcas are in respect of culture and language within their respective pods. This is not really seen anywhere else in the animal kingdom. Research has shown that they do have a sort of language and that they even have names that they call each other. There was a very controversial study done back in the day that was trying to teach dolphins English. Orcas off the coast of San Francisco knows how to kill great white sharks by immobilizing them on their backs and holding them until they effectively drown. They are next level intelligent. Orcas have complex hunting tactics. A group of orca whales will work together to create artificial waves to break apart icebergs to eat the things upon the ice. Planning, organizing, and carrying out actions. Let's get right into the interview with Joe Rovin and Anthony Kiedis. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to be updated on all our future content. Thanks. And enjoy the video. Pacific, you have the white whale. Actually white. Pure white. Wow. Well, the beluga oh, that's different right. Than this, or? Belugas. Yeah, they're uh, pretty white. Belugas are white, but there's also like an albino humpback, perhaps. Let me check. Cruising the coast of Australia somewhere. Oh, like a very, very rare version rare. of it. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Mm -hmm. We went uh, whale sighting in Hawaii. Uh, I forget what time of the year it was. I want to say it's like around now. When is the one of the whales there? And, but anyway, you uh, you go out on a boat and uh, you just go out into the ocean. And they just look for them in the distance and get close to them, and you get to watch them breach, and they just fly through the water and just push. it's incredible. You can't even. I mean, you know they're big, but until you actually see them in real life, it doesn't sort of compute. And strong. Oh, my God. And majestic, like intelligent, bizarre Beyond. mammals yes. that live in the ocean. That for some reason don't have hands and can't build stuff. Yeah. 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 Which is maybe a, a blessing for them. And they talk. And sing. Yeah. And love. Yeah. And, yeah. I had a day of surfing with a, a mother and her calf Whoa. where I live in Malibu. And it was a great wave day, just epically beautiful, clear, perfectly shaped waves. But then we had a, a humpback and her kid on the sandbar because they like to rub their bellies on the sandbar. And she was kind of sitting right on the takeoff spot for surfing. Whoa. I was like, I don't really want to disturb mother and child, but I do have to get that wave. <laughs> So I got as close as I could to the takeoff spot and they didn't care. They were like, go for it. You know, we're just, we're here, you're here. Spent hours surfing with a whale in my company. Wow. My friend Peter Atia, he's a, a doctor. He told me that orcas, the sounds that they make and the, the sounds, the, their ability to detect sounds, like the frequency that they can project is similar to ultrasound. Mm -hmm. Like you know how use they use ultrasound yeah. to detect an injury and they they can it. see through you. They can you. see through you. Literally can see through you through the ocean. He goes it's mind-boggling. Like we don't even understand like what's going on in them. And when you see like an orca's brain in comparison to a human mm. brain, like they've um they've done and, and the dolphins as well. Like dolphins their cerebral cortex is like 40% larger than a human being. So they have massive brains where dolphins can have one. And an orca is basically a dolphin. It's like the cousin dolphin of a family. dolphin. Dolphin yeah. family, yeah. They can, they shut one half of their brain down when they go to sleep. Beautiful. So one half Ooh. is always awake to look out for danger and problems. Mm. So that's how they sleep. They don't sleep like us. They sleep like one half shuts off. Joe Rovin explains on how dolphins are some of the most intelligent marine mammals in the world. These animals belong to the family Delphinidae and are known for their exceptional cognitive abilities. Research has shown that they have highly developed brains with complex social structures, communication skills, and problem-solving abilities. They use a variety of vocalizations, body language, and collocation to communicate with one another, and they have been observed exhibiting empathy, self-awareness, and problem-solving abilities. Orca is my guy. They're amazing, man. That that's what's on my back. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Only killed people in captivity. Uh, that's, as long as we're Let's showing ink. Oh way. yeah. So that face in the middle is the the Haida. 
interpretation of the orca. Ah. Yeah, they don't kill people. Only in captivity. When they're Which getting, is... They're getting tortured. Any, anybody who's seen blackfish or anybody who knows what's going on in marine land, what's going on in Canada Hate right it. now, it's horrible, man. It's horrible. It's, it's like it's, it's a form of torture to a sentient animal that might be as smart as us. And one day we're going to look back on the captivity of orcas and dolphins and we're going to be horrified that people were so callous. Or right now. Or right now. Pretty horrified right yeah. now. Yeah. But I think there's too many people that still don't understand. They still don't know. And they'll still go to sea, SeaWorld and watch them jump out of the water. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And they're very family. Yeah. They're all about their pod. Right, which is why it's so sick that they take them from their pod and yeah. put them in a f swimming pool. Yeah, we can do better than that. Yeah. We, well, you know, we should observe them only in the wild. That's what we should do. I mean, there's, they shouldn't allow those places. They shouldn't exist. If you want to have a marine land or a sea world, it should literally be like a place where you can go and they have a giant screen and you watch documentaries of these creatures mm. so you could appreciate them. And maybe you could donate to some sort of a conservation group and they put some of that money to it. But to have them in captivity, f that. There's no reason for that. There's Agreed. zero reason for that. On my bucket list, which I don't really have, but if I did have a bucket list, hanging out in the wild with the orca, preferably surfing, which mm. can be done, but also I would just swim out to one. I feel it has to be done. That's, yeah. that's a fear that I want to face. Because oh, they could just... If they wanted to, just swallow quit. you. Yeah, yeah, swallow. But they won't because they no. never have. No, they don't. Isn't that wild? That they, they've actually helped people. There's people that have been drowning, people that have fallen off of boats, and they've helped them. They've actually rescued humans. Mm. Like, they're so smart, man. They're, they've just evolved in a way where they've never figured out how to manipulate their environment. They don't have to. They, they don't have to. They maneuver through 3D space. They, they use sound, and they, they communicate in a way that we can't even decipher. Mm -hmm. I mean, think of all the, the code smashers, all these people that have figured out these complex codes, and they can decipher them. They have no idea what those workers are saying. They know that they have dialects, mm -hmm. so they know they sound different in one part of the world than they do in other parts of the world. But they don't know what the they're saying. They have no idea. Half of it's song. Yeah. They just like singing. I bet. Right? And dancing. Orcas and dolphins are highly intelligent creatures that possess advanced cognitive abilities. Their complex social structures, effective communication skills, and problem-solving abilities make them some of the most remarkable animals in the world, and their intelligence continues to be a subject of study and fascination for scientists and researchers alike. Orcas, also known as killer whales, are highly social animals that live in tight-knit family groups called pods. They have a complex vocal language, which they use to communicate with one another, and they are known to pass down traditions and cultural practices from one generation to the next. Orcas have also been observed using tools such as using seaweed to coral fish for easier hunting and exhibiting cooperation and teamwork in hunting. Dolphins are also highly social animals living in tight-knit groups or pods and they have been observed exhibiting cooperative behavior in hunting and other activities. Additionally, dolphins have been observed exhibiting behaviors that suggest a deep emotional connection to their pod members and an ability to grieve for their loss. Make sure to check out the full episode with Joe Rovin and Anthony Kiedis by heading over to Spotify. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to be updated on all our future content. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.